Hey Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eileen now. We're going to tap into a general reading for you guys, see what messages Spirit has for you. What messages you need to hear most at this time? We'll take a look at the overall energy, a little look at money, career, work, love. All right, any additional messages? We'll try to tap into it all for you. Please do remember though, this is a general reading, so please take it how it resonates for you, if it resonates. All right, I appreciate you guys and I pray that this reading is going to find you well. All right, Aquarius, let's tap in. You guys know I got music playing in the background, so if you hear that, that's what it is. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Instead of trying harder, try differently. You are the master, okay? The master of trying things differently, okay? You are different, okay? And that's a compliment, a very big one. Okay, you don't. You don't really gotta try too hard. That's what. That's what. Excuse me. That's what spirit's saying. You don't even really have to try too hard. So why? Why are you doing that? Okay. So I'm saying they're saying you're negating your power when you do that. All right. All right. What else for Aquarius? All right, we got Hathor here with Soul Family. Oh, baby. Okay. Soul Family. Okay. And we got Mermaid of Lumeria with Joy. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You know you're different, okay? The, the message that I'm getting is that a lot of you have always felt different, okay? They also give me the word outcast, okay? And unless you're a big outcast fan <laughs> um then i i really feel like this is referencing perhaps with family okay you've maybe felt like the odd one out the ugly duckling not saying you're ugly the black sheep right i'm just using all of those different things that describe the black sheep type of like analogy um so a lot of you could have felt that way but you're coming into your own that's what i'm hearing you're coming into your own into this space where you're realizing um there are people out here who are just like you, but they might be outside of the scope of what you thought they had to look like. All right, so let's tap in to some tarot. I love this beautiful deck. Oh my God, it's probably like one of my favorite decks. I think it's called the Wandering Star. It really reminds me of like Mexico for some reason. Some of you could be taking a trip to Mexico. Mexico. Or somewhere where there's water, a beach, all right? Two of wands, you're planning something. Four of swords, the four of cups. Ooh, okay. For those of you, some of you are planning something, a trip, safe travels. Um, but furthermore, what I'm getting with this two of wands and then four of cups, four of swords, there is this energy like, I cannot take this anymore, okay? Um, and was that just 411 when I said that? Yes, and we got the four of cups, the four of swords out here. Yeah, some of you, it's just like you cannot take a certain environment or uh, portraying something that you're not anymore. Something's just, it's becoming too much. You're just like, dude, I, I just can't. And listen, all oh, is coming together because they're bringing me back to instead of trying harder, try differently. You're feeling that way because it seems like you're putting in effort way too much just to be something, okay, that you're not. But it's like you're trying to or you have been, okay? And I'm not ragging on you, Aquarius, at all. I get it. Um, it's like you are or have been trying to fit into a mold of what someone else wants you to be or a family, their vision for you or something like that. And, you know, it's to the point where it's like, who the am I, you know? All right, give me some of this energy spirit. Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, some of you, you even decided to stay with family, like, you were going to move away, all right, but like that attachment or something, you really stayed, all right? I thought that this was this card at first, the five of wands in reverse. Some of you have been doing this just to avoid conflict, but it's putting you in a very like submissive and docile state. And I feel like your shadow is like, we don't want to do this though, Aquarius. All right, magician, the wheel of fortune. Yeah, and I see somebody just kind of wishing and like daydreaming themselves out of a situation, but your shadow is like, get us the fuck out of here. 
All right. Um, I also feel like we are in cancer season. I feel like it's bringing up a lot of themes for everybody about home, mother, family, right? Cancer rules the fourth house in astrology of all of those things. Okay. Our foundation, our emotional foundation. All right. Yeah. Okay. So tell me what was going on with this eight of wands in reverse Aquarius, the justice card. You feel like you were doing the right thing. Um, Ten of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. The thing is, you could have been manipulated into that. And the thing is, for even furthermore, with that manipulation, is that that manipulation is something that could be so normal, something that you were so used to that it seemed normal. You know what I mean? It was like you didn't bat an eye. It's just like, oh, yeah, like, mm -hmm, always do this, you know, type of thing. So you stopped your plans, what I see. Justice, Eight of Wands in reverse. And you stopped your plans because you genuinely thought you were doing the right thing. And see, that's the thing, y'all. Like, that's that whole saying, when you know better, you do better. But when you don't know better, you are given grace, right? It's after you learn the lesson, after you have understood that lesson that you are expected to overstand it, right? Like, make it work for you, right? And not keep repeating the same thing. So... I do see that you genuinely stopped your plans, like, because you genuinely felt like, okay, this is the right thing. Like, this is what I need to be doing. Okay, some of you, this could have been in a one-on-one uh, -on -one relationship with just one person and not actually, like, a bunch of family members or, you know, could have been, like, a romantic partner. Okay, the sun, but now, what I tell you about where the sun is right now in Cancer, isn't it? Y'all, look at this, the four wands. Further confirming. Thank you, spirit. Okay. So, mm, and the star, <laughs> fucking Aquarius energy. And like, get this, five of swords right behind it. That's Aquarius too. All right, all that's just confirmation. With the sun and the five of wands in reverse now, those, your guides are not letting you not see this for what it is. Like, you are. You are. Um, and they're saying it could be triggering emotionally. Okay. Some of you feel like you've been taken advantage of or walked over. Okay. Yeah, the temperance card here. Excuse me, the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands. I'm hearing that song. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Some of you are realizing, okay, that hindsight's 2020. Okay. Yeah, Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords. I couldn't have said it better, Spirit. Okay. Thank you. Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords. It's like, you're real. Oh my God, they're giving me the word bamboozled. You know, these are things you could be feeling just like you look back and you're like, these motherfuckers got me. They said I was coming back to do this. Now they got me doing all, you know what I said? It could be anything along the lines of that. Okay. The Hangman and the Devil, though. And the Devil, though, excuse me. Um, we, we can't wait anymore. Yeah, high priestess, we can't. Your higher self is in your shadow together. That's them. High priestess, the devil. Your shadow and uh, your higher self are coming together. Like, listen, we got to get shawty out of here. <laughs> okay, knight of wands, nine of pentacles. We got we to gotta get shawty gone. Like, okay. <laughs> All right, let's let me let me look at money a little bit. This is going to be also connected to work, career, business, right? So all of that, all of those messages will be in this section, Aquarius. All right, we're gonna come back to that. The world, beautiful. Some of you just wrapped up something in work. Maybe you completed a project. Some of you possibly left a job. Some of you like uh, received like an award or something. An accolade is the word they're giving me. Okay, King of Wands here. Ooh, chariot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Three of swords, ace of pentacles. Well, well, okay. Some, some positive coming out of this with the three of swords and the ace of pentacles. You are channeling this pain, baby. Okay, your shadow and your high yourself, they, they, they are concocting, okay, plans. Okay, for you to use this energy so you could fly, fly, fly the fuck away. Um, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all of that. Um... Yeah, you're using this pain, whatever you're going through, maybe in your personal life as fuel, okay, for your money, your job, your vision, your business, whatever this might be. Tell me what wrapped up with the world here, spirit. Okay. 
Knight of Cups, the Mother's Star, and the Lovers. Okay, so something wrapped up in Gemini season here. Okay, could have been a passion project, um, something that you have been working on. All right, I don't see it being super stressful, but I do see something that wraps up as far as work okay, or a project. I got the King of Wands and the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands, okay, Strength card, the Wheel of Fortune. What are you looking for? Queen of Wands. A perfect match. Okay, a perfect match. Six of Swords, there you go. And the Lovers, you did walk away from something in Gemini season because that's you, Aquarius. Six of Swords, the Lovers is Gemini. Okay, so you did leave something. Okay, some of you uh, might be on like a business trip or something like that, or you're traveling for business or work. Okay, I don't know if some of you are on, um, I don't know why I'm hearing the word sabbatical. Okay, some of you could be on a work sabbatical, learning and, you know, gaining information, traveling. I do get travel, though, in connection to your money or work. Okay, presently. Okay, tell me about charity here. All right, the four of pentacles. Mm. Judgment in reverse. I feel like you can be able. Okay, listen. All right, when it comes to money here. You don't know that. Okay. The creator in reverse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands. There's an opportunity for some reason throughout Cancer season to be able to stack your money, to be able to save. All right. It's very important though that you watch where you're spending. Okay. Or, you know, like what you're spending your money on. Like, is this worth, like, should I be doing this? For some reason, there is an emphasis to really keep an eye on that throughout Cancer season. Okay. Page of Wands here, right? Ace of Pentacles and the Star, right? Okay, because I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication. There could be a lot of opportunities that pop up. There could even be a spur of the moment, like um, opportunity to travel or something for work or money again. So just make sure that, um, again, you're keeping an eye on just like what you're saving, okay? Because I feel that Cancer season could be a really good time for you guys to get ahead as far as saving, okay? Let's look at love real quick. Some of y'all said yes to a date. Okay, look at you, Aquarius. How did it go? Ah. And then your, 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 your card comes out. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, could be an Aries, okay, or a Sagittarius. Would you say yes to? Ooh, the moon, honey. Okay. Ooh, the three of cups. It was a date. It was a date. How did it go? Hmm, the Knight of Swords. Okay. I don't even think you were expecting to say yes. I feel like it came out of nowhere. All right. And you were like, oh shit, why did I say yes to this? <laughs> tell you about the ten of wands. Nine of wands in reverse. King of swords. Okay. Tell me, tell me more about the president. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Nine of wands. Yeah, two of cups. I feel like... For those of you who said yes, um, yeah, to a cup, I feel like you are enjoying yourself more than you thought you would, all right? Even if um, some of you are actually seeing potential in this person now, and a lot of that heaviness that you felt at the beginning is starting to subside and wear off. I do feel like whatever this was caught you by surprise, you didn't expect to enjoy it. Tell me about the star. <laughs> the seven of wands, why? Ah, the six of wands here, ten of pentacles, the ace of cups. Oh man, this is gonna whatever this is. This is I think this is gonna get deeper than you're expecting, Aquarius, because it's gonna trigger um, how worthy you feel of getting the thing that you want, whether that's family, whatever your picture perfect love story is. It's gonna like um, really challenge you on how worthy you feel of actually receiving that. Okay. So if nothing else, this person has come in to challenge that, to make sure, like, do you feel worthy? 33. I know you guys had a reading before that said master number 33. Here we go again. All right. Got the good Lord here. We got big luck. Okay. I told you. We have a gift. Some of you, that gift might be a trip. Unexpected money too. All right. Y'all better claim all that. All right, last card for the Aquarius sisters. Oh, wow. 
Life is just, uh, thank you, spirit. Last quarter moon in Aquarius. Ah, uh, reflect on your priorities, okay? Um, I also heard, just as a last ending statement, who are you constantly putting before you, okay? I'm gonna leave it there, Aquarius. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you. I wish you all the best, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.